Hi everybody on YouTube and uh, all of the uh, folks out there from the uh, K6PN repeater. Um, this is another sort of momentous occasion. Um, this is uh, the N6QQQ uh, DTV repeater active on the bench. So the picture that you're actually looking at on the TV um, is coming from an analog camera that is being uh, turned into an MPEG transport stream, modulated at 1.2 gigahertz with DVBS, then amplified to 4 watts, transmitted from a beam on the roof pointed up towards Sierra Road, uh, so for about, I don't know, 80, 90 watts of effective radiated power or so. Then it's being received by an antenna over here in the corner of the garage, uh, demodulated as DVBS, turned around and retransmitted, remodulated as ATSC, 900 megahertz, um, and then uh, down converted and displayed on the TV. So I'll show you all the pieces one step at a time. Um, there's the camera. Uh, obviously I'm filming this on my uh, uh, iPhone, so that's not the same camera, but you get the idea. So the camera goes down to the MPEG, trans the, the MPEG encoder card right there, uh, hooked up to a second DVB mini mod, this time it's DVB-S, and uh, being output uh, at, you know, whatever the drive level is. Going back there to that uh, 1.2 gigahertz amplifier there. That's the same amplifier that I've been using all this time on analog, but now it's being used uh, to amplify the DVB-S. That gives about 4 watts of transmitter power output from the amplifier. That goes up on the roof to the beam and is actually being transmitted out into the world. Um, from there, the 1.2 gigahertz is being received by the antenna uh, over there. It's, it's that one, not, not that one. That's the Comet KP20. That's actually not being used right now. So it gets uh, received on that antenna uh, and then down the feed line over here. This is the DVBS uh, NIM, or DVBS receiver board, um, that's fresh from Germany, it arrived today. That little green LED there is the light that shows that the receiver is receiving good signal, so that tells you that the receiver is active. When the receiver goes uh, active, when the receiver receives good signal, uh, it sends the transport stream down to the ATSC modulator, which is the board underneath it kind of sandwiched down there, which modulates that uh, with ATSC. Uh, well, with 8 VSB, let's say. Um, it also will key the amp. There's an open collector output uh, right there that I've got. I haven't put the case back together again. I have to enlarge one of the holes. <clears throat> uh, but that sends the RF uh, through, again, the 6 dB uh, attenuator right there, down the cable into this, which is the um, 3370 PAHS from Down East Microwave, which amplifies it uh, to... Um, about 15 watts. There's a 20 dB attenuator there. You saw this in the last video, and then the little rubber duck. Uh, it then uh, goes from that rubber duck up to the 900 megahertz loop Yagi on the roof, uh, over that way, down to the down converter again, dangling in midair. Uh, gets down to converted to channel three, and then comes over to the digital TV. You can see there that uh, you know it's digital because as I move my arm down you see after about a one or two second delay, the same thing happens on the picture. So that sort of proves that, um, what, oh, hello. <laughs> Digital TV is never perfect. Um, I don't know, as I move my arm around, it creates different multipath environments in here, and that'll happen. Uh, but as I uh, change things, if I move my hand in front of the iPhone camera, you can see what the delay is. Uh, well, and of course then the picture drops. <clears throat> but this is, uh, so that's, that's a full round trip from analog camera to DVBS up on 1.2 gigahertz, um, retransmitted by the repeater on 900 megahertz with uh, 8 VSB, ATSC, and then down converted and received on a regular television. Um, and the cat is walking around. Jade, move away. You're giving multipath. The cat just walked in front of the rubber duck, so that's probably what happened there. But uh, yeah, it does work. Uh, it actually turns out that um, I'm actually getting a good signal lock on the receiver uh, without the DVBS amplifier. I guess the um, 
the DVBS modulator is actually close enough to the receiver that it's actually going through the air rather than needing the amplifier. If I turn the amplifier off, <clears throat> um, well, of course, the multipath is probably changing things, but it'll actually, yeah, see, it, it actually comes back in briefly. Jade, go away! This is, this is Jade, the cat, who's very curious as to what I'm doing in here in the garage. You can see it's actually, I've got the amplifier turned off, and just the exciter running, free running right now, is enough to get signal across the three or four feet that it needs to get to jump down to the receiver. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's still a good test. Uh, but at some point I'll wrap the, I'll put the case back on the uh, repeater innards, and uh, then I probably actually will need to actually transmit a signal through the air. But uh, uh, there you go. So that's all the pieces for the N6QQQ DTV repeater uh, in that box plus the amplifier. Uh, plus I still have to buy a power supply. That's going to be the receive antenna. That's a, a um, <coughs> um, X6000A from Diamond, uh, 2 meter, 440, and 1.2 gigahertz. Uh, that is the Comet KP20 transmit antenna. So that is the complete repeater. Um, the only difference is that uh, it's not running with the actual KP20 transmit antenna right now. It's running with a, an attenuated rubber duck instead. But um, that will be the configuration of it when it goes on the hill. Talk to you later. Bye.